here we go so what we have in the starter content level we have the ZD text here. It's a 3D text and in this content I'm just what I'm doing uh, I'm using this the reality uh, node graph reality setup and these are my blueprints okay for the start content. I'm just clicking each one of them and executing them from uh, playing them from my node graph right so maybe you can't see my uh, other screen so that's why I'm showing you right now so what we can do with the text we can do a lot of different stuff with the text we can change it in real time it's me Faraz game reality sorry oh. and I'm just going to change the font size yes I can change the colors and everything it's there and if you want to check check how it works just if you whenever you get the latest version really 2.9 you just check it out with bp underscore zd text let's move on yes we have dynamic material here and uh, you can change this texture with any uh, static or video texture as per your requirement so it gives you an idea especially the beginners an idea that how should we supposed to switch uh, swap the textures and route our you can even uh, route the live, live videos uh, on any static mesh out there so in order to show you what I have is just a very basic video with me. I'm just going to play it. Okay, so how I did this again BP underscore dyn material dynamat dyn mat it is the blueprint which carries the logic. Okay. And what we have, these are just the proof of concept that you can do these kind of things and not all concepts, just few of them which are necessary for the designers. And we will definitely add some more features uh, in our feature releases uh, in that particular level. So animation, play, stop, play, stop move on you can control light attenuation light color intensity and everything uh, in order to turn it on and turn it off and even you can change the colors i just exposed the few options here uh, and color and attenuation you can control it right from here okay so let's move on again Yes, you can play with the particles. It's there. I'm just spawning the particle on a certain location. That's it. Anything else? It, it just gives you an idea that how particle blueprint works. Uh, particle works in the blueprint, and how should we supposed to expose some important nodes in order to manipulate it in, in real time? Okay, so. Uh, Again, you can change the colors and whatever, spawn rate and everything. So, sorry, let's move on. Physics, yes, it's there. You can play with the physics. I'm just enabling and disabling the physics and reset the position of my actors everything regarding the logic is in the pp underscore physics it gives you an idea how physics work in unreal and you can control it with the reality uh, control application level streaming it is one of the most important and my favorite feature of unreal because uh, you may need it with the large scale scenes 
And uh, what I'm doing right here, let me show you. I'm just streaming my level into this persistent level and uh, I'm just loading and unloading my level. By this way, it just gives you an idea how thing works with the blueprint and uh, how level streaming works. So, and you, uh, maybe we will have these kind of thing in our uh, upcoming webinars, how level streaming work and how it helps you to design your virtual set in a most optimized and uh, effective way. There is a Niagara particle system and I just spawn it, enable and disable it. That's it. Anything else? You can do a lot with Niagara in Unreal. Okay. And definitely reality support all aspects of Niagara. Okay, so let's move on. This is the level sequencer. And yes, of course. Whenever you hit play, all level sequences uh, export it with your uh, in, in the in the control application. Uh, I have one level sequencer in my level, and when I load my scene, when I hit play, it's there. Right, so you can play a lot with the level sequencer without writing a single line of code, or you can don't have to design a blueprint or level blueprint or a class blueprint for uh, just to have your uh, expose your leveling uh, in order to manipulate in real time. So this is my level sequencer node and these are the functions that I can control. Almost every function, important function is there. Okay, how it look like when I play, it is something like this. I just export my 3ds Max animation uh, in FPX format and import it in Unreal and put it directly into my level sequencer. And it's here. OK, you can do a lot more than that with a level sequencer. It's very powerful. Clothes simulation, yes, it's there. and. I, did, I didn't do anything fancy with it, but just control my wind speed. And it's working fine. Let's move on. Yes, it's the animation and character blueprint. I just use uh, Blend space 1G and just a proof of concept that character states working absolutely fine with reality. Let's play it. <clears throat> Sorry. Working like this. I'm just blending two states, uh, ideal state and ideal state and the fighting state. That's it. And there is a complete blueprint, color coded blueprint. Everything is uh, descriptive. I add comments and everything. So anyone who want to learn the character pipeline, definitely check BP underscore character whenever he get our latest version. So here is a spline actor. A spline is a very powerful and useful component in Unreal. And definitely most of the designer, experienced designer is, are using it quite often. So uh, I'm just going to, I'm just playing my teapot over a spline path. Maybe you can even connect the camera with the spline. You can spawn actors over the spline path and you can do a lot different stuff with the spline. Actor spawning is one of the feature. Uh, it's there and I'm, just going to play it something like this. I have a static mesh of teapot in a blueprint and I am just spawning this blueprint on the random location over my, into my level. That's it. And they are spawning and dying after a few uh, milliseconds. So it's a proof of concept. BP underscore actor spawn is there. You can check the logic and start and understand how spawning works. Yes, destructible mesh. 
it's there. It just worked fine. I, I just enabled uh, physics on uh, my static mesh and it fall down and it's just a proof of concept that how it works. VB underscore destructive, dis destructible mesh, destructible, destructible, sorry, is there. You can check the logic inside. So that's it.